Why wouldn't you bring proper water? Huh? That's a lovely flavour of um, Hillway. This is Matt Does Fitness's Cherry Jobs V2. Well, V1 Cherry Jobs, but V2 Matt Does Fitness. Oh, James that's James delicious. Hey, right, James, catch. Oh, oh. <laughs> where's the lid? <laughs> so I lost, didn't I? <laughs> no, you gotta get it. Swear to God, it's gone. Yourself, uh, I'm Jamie from Jim Twins, man. I'm the other twin, Alex. Oh, fuck. They're not twins. They're well, we're twins. We're twins. Can you change it to one and a half plates? Where does the plate go? Where did you get it from? Over here. All right. Okay, it's Q&A time. So, first question. First question, let's have a little look. First of all, this Q&A isn't just going to be all gym related because that's kind of boring. But how do you retain muscle gains during cut? Cut as slow and steady as possible. Keep your protein high. That's pretty much it. And keep training it. Don't just think, oh, you want to cut, so now you just got to reduce the weight, reduce the load and everything. Keep training. Set time. <clears throat> and don't overtrain. Because when you're on a cut, you will just be tired, more tired than usual. And you'll be thinking, oh, I just need to train loads. You just overtrain, burn out, and have to take loads of rest days. Or just suddenly lose loads of strength. More through fatigue than actual, what's it called? Catabolic. <clears throat> Can I have a spot? Bye bye. <laughs> Do you want to answer a question? Will Bailey, here he is. He's going to answer a question. Will me. Will, will me. What's your favorite muscle group to train? I love push day. I'm very torn between chest and shoulders. Uh, probably shoulders, because it just looks the best. When it's pumped, it looks the best. Back, easy. Back for me. You are back man. Because I'm back man. I'm back man. I'm back man. You can vary back so much. You can do what we did yesterday, all vertical. You can do rows, horizontal, or deadlifts. Like that all counts as back. Shoulders is lateral raises and shoulder press. That's all there is in my opinion. Will, have you done a set? Do a set. What do we think of the beanie? What do we think? Right now my hair's in an awkward stage, so I'm wearing a beanie a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm all in. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, yeah, he kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes have recorded. I get this question a lot what are my macros? Honestly, no clue. I'm currently filming what I eat in a day, and that'll be the other video. I'll have a look at that, but it's not really got macros in. I don't really care about it. I mean, I should care about it, but I just don't because I enjoy myself, you know? I don't want to stress myself out by caring about that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't say that. <laughs> Toughest year of my life. I reckon that's a question for in a bit. I'll make sure my gap year and first year. I'd say gap year. That's a very good question. I'll do that after a couple of sets. The toughest year of my life. That's like a 10 minute story. My gap year would have to be my t the toughest year of my life. Yeah, mad. Basically, growing up I didn't have like the, like, I didn't have those ones that I knew were my bros bros. Especially in school. In school I was a bitch. Fake friends, you know what I mean? It felt like it. And obviously then they all went off to uni and no one spoke to me, so I was completely alone in my gap year. It was a little bit deep. It was just me and my dad in my gap year. My mum works, my mum works at school. Brother was at uni, so all I had was the gym really, and then, Went through a little breakup, and uh, 
Yeah. It's me and my dad, and even my dad was emotional with me. This is difficult to talk about. Yeah, it was just tough. A whole year alone, but then I started grinding. I learned a hell of a lot about myself, which I kind of forgot as soon as I came to uni, because I went, kind of went back into the bubble. But yeah, it changed me. It changed me. And that's led me to be who I am right now, so I don't regret it. It was just a tough year. Good question. What? You bleeding? Are you calm? You want to sit down? Bleeding out your arm or your, or your nose? My arm. Where's that from? I thought it was a nosebleed that dripped on you. Whoa, bro. All right. What's going on, sir? How are you doing? I'm good, bro. How are you? I hear you just deadlift like 325. I'm, I'm about to, mate. Quick video intervention. We've got a strong man, Joey Shaw, RPE7, deadlift is him. Yeah! Yes! That's always an awkward one, isn't it? It's like, that's crazy, but it's awkward. Next question time. I want to start creating content, but I don't know where to start. Would you have any suggestions? There is no singular way to start. You just have to start. You've got a camera on your phone. You don't have to buy a camera. Maybe buy some microphones if you want to do this sort of thing. They're 250 quid, quite expensive, but it's not necessary at all. You can use the microphone on your phone if you have a camera and you link them together in editing. As far as what to create, obviously you can create the basic, how to do this, how to do that, but I feel like everyone's doing that. That's one reason why I don't personally do that much. I personally started doing some just random skits on TikTok. It wasn't even to do with gym, and I eventually just faded into gym, which I knew I would always do. So I did the trends, I got followers, I went viral, things like that. But just do your thing, show personality, do your thing. You have to be you, you have to be different because no one's gonna follow someone if they're already following someone that does the same thing with better quality. You know what I mean? If I were to post the same thing as more plates, more dates. Yep. Right. Someone to do the exact same thing, but post it at a lesser quality, no one's gonna follow you. Definitely. It's only unless you do it better than the current person that's doing it, but most likely that's not gonna happen. Post your own thing, do your own thing, and you'll find a way. Be patient, try different things, be patient. Be patient, be patient, be patient. Trust the process. Things you struggle with being an influencer, that's a good question. Sorry to intrude, but I'm doing an Instagram story, would you like to be a part of it? This, this is the behind the scenes of influencers in the wild. Save it, save it. Say, you've really? zoomed! No! Yeah. Worst thing about being an influencer, you get recognised a lot. And especially being at university, when you go out at night, people are very confident when they have a bit of alcohol in them. In my first year in the club, it was never fun. Did you get recognised? Some people rated it, most people rated it, but you always had that one person who decides to be a dickhead. Led to me not having very good nights out most of the time. Same as Sam. But we're cool now, because they're still at uni. Question number, I don't really know to be honest, where's my phone gone? Do I believe in God slash Jesus? Uh, not how it's written, but I believe in something. I don't know what it is though, but I believe in something. One piece of advice to help grow on social media, be yourself.